Hi guys, welcome back to Mike the AZ Chef. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite dishes of all time, pasta pescatori, which means seafood pasta. So let's talk about the greens a little bit here, okay guys? So we got some mussels, we got some clams, we got some shrimp, we got some calamari, we got some leftover marinara, we got some seafood stock, a little bit of tomato paste, we got some crushed red chilies, salt and pepper. We got some fresh garlic, olive oil, basil, and fresh Italian parsley and some white wine. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you guys how to actually clean a shrimp. So come on by over here. So if you actually have to clean your own shrimp, it's actually cheaper to do it. So I usually just do that. So what I do is just peel, squeeze, Peel off. We'll do one more, okay? We'll leave one with the tail on, one with the tail off. Once again, here we go. We're gonna hold it, pinch it, pull it. One and one, okay? And then the whole key of the shrimp is actually to devein it. So what you wanna do is part it along the back of the shrimp, and you're gonna see that little line that we need to take out. So we'll do another one. I'm gonna show you guys actually how to butterfly shrimp. So same thing, just in case you guys have to ever butterfly shrimp or bread it, I'm gonna show you guys. So this one doesn't really have anything in it. So what we're gonna do is just keep riding along with the knife along its back, but no, don't cut all the way through. And that is called butterfly guys, cool? All right, let's get back to what we're trying to do here and make some good food, guys. First thing I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna get some olive oil. I'm gonna do some fresh garlic. Looking good, looking good. All right, we're gonna get our seafood. Start out with some calamari. That's gonna take the longest to cook or squid, sorry, not calamari, but I always say calamari for squid, I don't know why. Some people like to use the tentacles, some people like to use just the, the steak, steak side of the, of the squid, I actually like to use the steak side of it. And then it's like, it's curled and it's cut. I like the texture of this, and this is the only thing they really had at the, the market, so I'm going to use what I can use. Alright, so we're going to crank this heat up a little bit. Add a little more oil to this. She's going. She's looking good. Alright guys, next thing I'm going to add, my shrimp, this dish is going to cook really quick guys, so you got to be on top of it, you got to have everything ready to go, if not you're going to overcook everything here. Add those other two that we cleaned. But once we get to this, we took about halfway. We're gonna pull them out and we're gonna add it at the end. The biggest thing is that you don't want to overcook your shrimp. You want to bite your shrimp and it like explodes in your mouth with flavor. You don't want it to bite it and it's rubbery. So we're gonna take these bad boys out. And the calamari is still cooking, which is actually great. All about time management when you cook seafood. Pull that shrimp out. Mm 
beautiful. Now we're going to add some white wine. Now we're going to add a little bit of seafood stock. going. We add a little bit of salt and pepper. Start to go over here. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to try to reduce it. We're going to come to a boil really quick on this, guys. Shouldn't be that much time to reduce it. While that's going, I'm going to add my tomato paste. I like to add this just to give it a little bit more body to your sauce because we're adding stock to this and we're adding wine to it. So it's gonna loosen up your marinara that you already have made from the night before. And we always have marinara made from the night before. Who does it? And if you don't, then you got some issues. I'll tell you that right now. All right, so we got that going. Looking really good. We're gonna add our clams and our mussels. We get that going here. I'm gonna we have to re-season it, guys. So we're gonna add a little bit more black pepper, some more salt to this. Alright, we got this going. Yeah, this is one of my favorite dishes, guys. I, every time I go, especially back home to New York, I always go to, I always look at this Pacific dish, and it's just like, it's an amazing, it's just great, man. I just love the texture of all different kinds of fishes, the shellfishes, and you know, the clams and the mussels and everything, the shrimp in there, but you can add whatever you want in here, guys. You can, if you want to put salmon, you can put swordfish in here. If you want to put prawns with the shell on, you can do whatever you want. I like, this is a really quick and easy one. So, bringing this to a boil now. As you see, we're opening it up. All our stuff's opening up. We're looking really good here. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we're gonna add our leftover marinara in here. Now you see the body starting to come alive. Starting to look a little bit more like a pasta sauce instead of an actual stew. Now we're going to add our shrimp that's cooked halfway, right in that bad boy. Okay. Alright guys, after that we're going to add some fresh Italian parsley, give it a little bit of color to it. Look at that, jeez, that's just like seafood heaven. Who wouldn't want this? How do you think about this, Athena? What do you think about this? Area? It looks good. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Man. Okay. Okay, we got that going. We're gonna let that cook for just a little bit. We're gonna be using fettuccine pasta. So we're gonna add this puppy into the water. And guys, if you want to learn how to make marinara, uh, just comment below. Um, it will be one of the shows, but you know, for now, we're just gonna kinda trust you guys in knowing how to make some marinara. 
Okay. Start to come together right here. I'm going to add a little bit more chili flakes to it because I like this a little spicy. I'm going to add a little butter to give it a little shine. And give more little body to the sauce that's going on right here right now. Look at that. Seafood heaven, guys. Seafood heaven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the seafood out. Presentation-wise. You got to make it look fancy. You know what I mean, guys? Get our pasta. You want, we don't want to drain it too much. We want a little bit of the pasta water in there to give it that little bit of the salt in the flavor. And so now what we're doing right here is we're actually getting that marinara to stick to the pasta. And that's the one thing that this is called right now, getting it to stick. Bad boy right here. Now we're going to start building it up. Get all my extra seafood I got going on here. Showcase all of this beautiful. Look at that, guys. And get a little bit more clams in there to make it look even. Some shrimp. All right? You get a little bit of sauce put on top. Beautiful. We're going to add a little bit of fresh 